Welcome back to a new episode here in Suave. In today's episode, we're going to make a uh, social media logo animation, more specifically an Instagram logo animation, since in one of the 30 by 30 series episodes, I made a social media cloud title, I think it was, and I had a, an Instagram logo animation on it that I didn't actually show how to make in that video because it's basically a whole nother video apart. And then I'm also showing you a little preview of what I was working on in 3D. I was basically making the Leaning, leaning Tower of Pizza, Pizza, I think it, it's called. And yeah, I was just playing around with 3D and trying to learn a little bit more and get better at it and see. Of course, it's not going to be like Blender or, or any of those super powerful ones, but it can be you can do a couple of cool stuff in it, you know? Okay, so we're gonna start by, uh, as always, we're gonna add a background here so we can know what we're dealing with. And we're also gonna add a merge node to connect things. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add our image here. And we are gonna basically use this image um, to make our own version of the logo here in in Resolve Fusion because if we don't, we're gonna need to have an, a separate image every time, okay? So let's just go ahead and we're gonna press one in here to add this Instagram logo in here so we can use that as a reference to know where we have to adjust things and all that. Make it a little bit bigger and move it a little bit. And then we adjust the corner radius that's pretty much perfect around it that's doesn't have to be perfect as, as i always say so we're gonna go for the color we're gonna add a gradient we're gonna move this around here from this corner to this corner because that's basically how the the logo it's it's colored i feel like it so we're gonna go to this one on this side and we're gonna grab this little tool the clearest point that we want that, that we see the color and then we're gonna go all the way up here and select that top color that we find or yeah that top color and it's a little bit we're gonna make it a little bit darker I think yeah and then we in between we can add the let's see a new one and we're gonna add that middle color and we can kind of see that it's shaping itself and we can also change here the thing radial if we have radial it will act like a sort of like a circle you see and then we can also add maybe a different one here and make it a little bit more like if we make it bluish i guess you could say that will change a little bit more we can make this one pinkish and then change the last one to more blue i think and let's see how that one looks Yeah, it's fine. I it could look cooler, I guess. Let's see, we can play around the colors in here to see what we like at the end. And that, I think that's sort of like the the logo. I'd say, yeah. And what I think is that this logo is like a four gradient one, so it doesn't really. It uses that four gradient, four corner one. But that's it. That For now, we're going to use that because it doesn't really have to be perfect. And the next thing that we can do, so we're going to go and we're going to basically just copy and paste these. We're going to adjust the size of this rectangle. And we're going to subtract it, take the solid out, and we're going to increase the border here. That's what we're going to use for our for our version of the Instagram logo. And we can go around here and try to adjust it according to this size. And it might be a little bit more rounded in here, it seems. Yeah, so that looks fine, I'd say. Okay, what we're going to do is basically this. We're just going to work on it in here. We can, we can still add more stuff in under the same one. I was just gonna try to make it a little bit different so I can animate separate little things here. So we're gonna go here and we're gonna add subtract here. And basically, 
We're going to take these out of the way now. There. And the reason for that is that it becomes a little bit annoying to have to see that part there. So we're going to go here to this circle and we're going to, first of all, we're going to take the solid out and we're going to make that circle with the border adjustment and try to place it in the right place. Okay, a little bit bigger also. Uh, I think that's fine there. And then we can basically just copy and paste this and we're going to drag it up here and we can link these two expressions. So then when we, we adjust the size of these, we can adjust them together. So we're basically just going to drag this corner here and make it a little right there. Okay. And then after we have that, basically what we have to do is just animate it. Uh, let me just fix that. I want, I don't want that little thing to show up in there. So I'm going to have to adjust the size of these there. So one 0 0.106, 0 0.01. Okay. So then after we have that, we're basically just going to go here to let's say frame, let's say frame 50. We're going to animate this little circle first. We're going to end it there. So we're going to play with the border, I think. Not, not the border. We're going to play with the size. So we're going to create a width keyframe there and we're going to go, let's say to frame 42, so eight frames backwards. Then we're going to increase the size. So it's basically going to close down in there, going over all these other ones. And then for the next one, we want to go to frame 40 for that circle in the middle. And we're going to create a size keyframe for these also. And we can link these two again since they are connected. So then when we move one, they will both move. So we're going to create that at frame 40 and then we're going to go eight frames backwards or let's go to 30. We're going to go 10 frames for this one. And we're going to make it come from the, from the middle, from the, from inside. And then for this rectangle, what are we going to do for this rectangle? Let me think we could we could animate it. Um, I'm not really sure how we're going to animate this last one. We can, I'm not, this. I don't know what I could do with this. I could add another mask in between here and make this a multiply. We're going to add these, we're going to animate these two at the same time, I think. So basically we're going to make it a little bit bigger. And what I'm going to do is, yeah, I'm going to make it a slider out like from the bottom. So we're going to create a keyframe there for 30, for 25, let's say I'm gonna create, we're going to create a key position keyframe for that mask. And then we're going to go here to frame five there. So it's basically sort of like scanning or printing it. And then that circle is going to show up from there. And then that other one shows from there. And what we also can do is we can adjust this merge. So then when it's filling out, we're going to make this size and the angle change. We're going to go here to frame when it shows up, everything it's going to merge. It's going to be full. And at the beginning, we're going to make it sort of like rotate a little bit. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this logo animation. As always, you can play around with many different things. You can play around with the, you can play around with, um, you can play around with different, like the mask paint effect, and you can basically be as creative as you want. So we're going to basically just go back and drag this, and then we can drag it on top of any footage that we have. And once it renders, 
and then after a little render that should be it so i hope that you enjoyed this video and that you learned something new and let me know if you want me to put this in the description so you can download it later on and yeah i hope you get excited for that 3d one that's moving around there in the background but as always i hope to see you in the next video here in suave see you next time